Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to create handy custom dock folders for your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now in the past I've shown you how to create these handy folders that appear on the right side of your dock but usually it's in the context of other dock tips and I thought I'd do a video just focusing on this one thing. So the dock at the bottom of your screen has apps to the left and to the right beyond the divider line is a set of folders like sometimes your downloads folder and the trash can. But you could also put other files and folders here. So the only place files and folders can go is to the right of this line. It may also have a middle section here with your most recent dock items but I'm talking about the section all the way to the right. So what you could do is you could put a folder in here and access it just like this downloads folder here. There's nothing in it right now but I could easily go into the finder, select another folder like this one, drag it to the right side of the dock and now I can access the items in there from the dock. But you can create a custom folder that has exactly the items that you want in there and use that instead of a folder that's already part of your organizational structure. To demonstrate this I'm going to create a folder to hold these folders. So I'm going to do that in the Documents folder because I like putting everything in the Documents folder but I'm going to name it something so I know what it is. So I'm going to create a new folder in the Documents folder and I'm going to call this Doc Folders. And Inside of Doc Folders I'm going to create a, another folder here called, and I'll call this, Graphics Apps. So let's say I have a crowded dock with apps on the left and I want to have a spot that just has all my graphics apps. I don't use graphics apps super often but when I do it would be nice to see them all in a group there in the dock. So in this Graphics App folder what I want to do is gather together all of the apps I want to use. I'm going to create another Finder window and in that Finder window I'm going to go to my Applications folder so I can see all my applications. And I want to start off by dragging an app in there. Now I don't want to actually drag the app itself. I want to drag an alias to the app. An alias is a link that you can double click to launch an app or open a file but it doesn't actually move the original file. Now I can do that by selecting the file I want to move, in this case an app, hold the Command and Option key down and when I drag you can see the arrow that's part of my cursor changes to a little curve there and I could drop that in. And now you can see I've got an alias to Pixelmator Pro. The app is still in the Applications folder but I've got this little alias here. It's a tiny little file that just points to it and you can see the icon for it actually has this little curved arrow there telling you it's an alias. Now for apps you don't need to actually hold down Command and Option because if it's coming out of the Applications folder then the operating system assumes that you want to create an alias and not actually move the application. So if I try to do it again let's for instance go and take uh, Affinity Designer here. If I drag it over you can see it automatically changes to the little curved arrow. I didn't have to hold down the different modifier keys but keep that in mind because we'll be using that again in a minute. So let's take a bunch of graphics apps. Uh, let's put those. Uh, let's take Photoshop which is actually in a subfolder here. I'll be careful to take the actual app not a folder for it. Uh, here's another graphics app. And then we could, you know, grab other ones. Let's say uh, maybe it'd be handy to have preview in there as well, and maybe also photos. So I have a bunch of different graphics apps that are now in here. Uh, so now I could take this folder and I could drag it to the right side of the dock. It won't actually go anywhere on the left side of the dock. It goes on the right side of the dock, and you can see I've got graphic apps there. If I click it, I get this cool little fan here with all of the icons and I can actually click on one of these to launch an app. So now I've got seven apps here taking up only one slot in the dock but they're almost as easy to access. Now I have some options. If I control click, two finger click on a trackpad or right click on a mouse you can see I can change the sorting for this. By name makes sense here. I can have it display as a folder instead of a stack so now it's a little folder icon there. I can have the contents come up always as a fan which is this view here. I can have the contents always come up as a grid which is this view here. Or I can have it always come up as a list which I like because it's 
compact and simple and I can see exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'll leave it at that. So the other thing I could do is I could customize the icon here. I don't do that by actually doing anything in the dock. I go back to the Finder and I've got this folder here. You can get any graphic you want. I'm going to go into Freeform here. I'm just going to use one of these shapes here. And I could search for paint and there's uh, different things here uh, I can use. Let me use the paint splatter. That's kind of cool. I'll uh, we'll change the color. Let's make it something like an orange. And I'll select it and copy. And then I'll go back to the folder there, do Command I to get info, go to the icon here and do Command V to paste. And I'll replace the icon with that. So now when I look here, I can see I've got that icon instead of a folder icon. It still thinks it's showing a folder icon. It's just that my folder icon is now a custom one that's this paint splatter. And you can look online and find all sorts of great different icons to use. Or even grab one of the icons from one of the apps, copy it from the info window and paste it as the folder icon to use that. So now I've got a handy little single icon in the dock that gives me access to all these different apps. I could even go back here into the Graphics Apps folder and I could add more. I can remove. I can rename these so the alias will still point to the right application. But I just will have a different name that I'll see. And I could even create subfolders. I'll create a new folder here. I'll call it Affinity and I will drop the two apps from that one company into there. And now look at what happens when I click here. You can see I've got a subfolder. So if you've got a lot of apps that are graphics apps you can divide them up into categories or by company or any way you want to do it and still have pretty quick access to them. Now we can do this with more than just apps. So I'm going to create a new folder here in my Doc Folders folder because I've just got this place to store them. And I'll call this uh, you know, Business Files. And in Business Files I will go and put files that fit that category that maybe I need access to a lot. So here's one here and what I'm going to do is make sure I hold down Command and Option to put an alias to it. That way I'm not actually moving it from the place where I've carefully placed it so I know where it is. And I will go and put aliases to a bunch of different files from a bunch of different folders in here. And I can keep going and I can create subfolders in here as well. But I'm going to take this Business Files folder right now and I'm going to stick it on the right side of the dock as well. And now I've got Business Files there. I'll Control click it, set it up so it's always a list. I'll Control click it and set it up so it's always displayed as a folder. I can do the custom icon there. And now I've got Business Files and I can easily select one of these and it will open up this file and I have a quick access to the files that I need the most often. And I can have subfolders here if I need more or I could simply add more folders here if I need it. And in this case it may actually be handy to sort by something other than name. So for instance Date Modified might be useful because now I'm going to see the most recently modified one at the top. And then as with the other folder here I could go back in and I can remove and add files. I can change the names of files if I want. So I can call this one just X here and you can see how it appears as X. But if I select it it will actually open up the original file which has the original name. So for instance in a case like this if I have a file I'm updating all the time I could actually change the alias name to something like that and then it will always look like that even though next year I may actually create a new alias with the same name that points to a new file for that year. So I hope this gives you lots of different ideas of ways that you can set up these custom folders and use them on the right side of the dock for quick access to your favorite applications and files. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.